Good morning, dear students. I hope you have spent a happier day of Eid al-Fitr, Eidukum Mubarak. By the way, colors go back to some faces. <clears throat> Today, I've decided to present my conference in English language without using one word, either in Arabic or in French. Either in Arabic nor in French. So you have to be quiet, patient, and attentive. And you have to give me your ears. <clears throat> Indeed, I'm not eloquent in, Arabic in English as I am, or as well as I am in Arabic. But I will try my best to convey to you the most relevant ideas, notions, and concepts regarding the topic of this conference case study. So my dear students, if you have any questions, it will, be, it will be better to write them down in your notes pads so that I can answer them after the presentation of this lecture. <clears throat> at first sight, at first sight and methodologically speaking, we have to deal with the term case study in itself, basing on a small epistemological approach. If we want to really, or if we want to recognize deeply both its theoretical structure and operational dimension. Because it's, when it's about a term, Listen to me. When it's about a term, there is no natural or simple relationship between its linguistic level and cognitive one. This said, there is a certain scientific intensity at the level of the association between the signifier and signified at the lexical construction of the term, at the lexical construction of the term. Thus, each term has to be based on a conventional relationship between its linguistic form and cognitive load. This is why the term doesn't work like a simple word, but it has to have an epistemic reference to the reality which would never exist in one meaning. Simply put, simply put, the term hasn't got a meaning but a concept. And here we have to ask this question. What does it mean a concept? Huh? And I haven't got a plenty of time to explain what does it mean a concept. I have to continue my speech. So, the term hasn't got a meaning but a concept. Therefore, defining a term requires a specific definition which is actually a conceptual limitation. At last, our term, at last, our term case study must be defined in its scientific dimension requiring conceptual focus as well as critical approach. Now, I have to say, or I have to, to tell you the title of this conference. Huh? Case study. Hmm? Case study, concepts, huh? you have to be attentive, concepts, theoretical criterions, and operational process. I have to, or you have to write the first definition of this methodological, of this very important methodological mean, case study. The first concept or the first scientific or conceptual definition of the case study, I will suggest this one. A case study is an in-depth a study 
of one person, group, or event. In a case study, nearly every aspect of the subject's life and history is analyzed to seek patterns. Patterns means here nearly models. Patterns and causes of behavior. Case studies can be used in various fields, including psychology, medicine, education, anthropology, political science, and social or social work. Now I'm going to tell you the purpose of this methodological or the, of this very important methodological mean case study. The purpose of a case study is to learn as much as possible about an individual or a group so that the information can be generalized to many others. But unfortunately, case studies tend, tend to be highly subjective and it is sometimes difficult to generalize results to a larger population. Another concept. A process or record of research. A process or record of research into the development of particular person, group, or situation over a period of time. And here I have to mention that limitation of time is very important. We, have, we are obliged to limit the time before starting our case study research. Huh? The time. <clears throat> so case study may be uh, used uh, or may be uh, uh, used as an historical approach and may be or, or may be used as systemic approach. Types of case studies. The first type, collective study case studies. Descriptive case studies, explanatory case studies, instrumental case studies, intrinsic case studies. You have to learn or to, to read more and more about these types of case studies. Now I'm totally ready to receive or to answer your question. And thank you so much for following. Thank you so much.